is it okay to assume sadguru in everyone by pretense even though one is still on the path but not enlightened yet it all depends on what you mean by sadguru if by sadguru means that do we all have the same capacity to achieve the state of enlightenment that a sadguru has answer is yes we all have the same capacity on the other hand if by sadguru we means a master who has come to take us back home that everybody has not come to take us back home and then we identify one individual yeah, of course he is like any any other human being but one individual who appears in our life we don't search for him we don't find him he appears in our life at the right time and a satguru can be a guru but may not be a satguru a guru is a teacher and especially spiritual teachers have been called gurus and a guru who comes and teaches us teaches us to learn what we have been trying to learn supposing we are trying to learn about external things he is a guru of external things if you are trying to learn our inside what is inside us there are do heavens and hells exist a guru will come who has attained that state himself and he will teach us about that and that will satisfy us because that is our seeking and some want to seek where did the world come from where did destinies come from where karma came from then if that is a seeking a guru will come who will take us to the causal plane that's what he has attained for him that's the final thing and that's what we are looking for so guru will teach us that which means gurus are in several categories in fact we also distinguish in the northern indian states between a sad guru and a sat guru gurus can be any point but when we say he is a guru of that level then we start with sad guru who takes us beyond the mind and reveals to us that we are atma or soul he is called a sad guru a sat guru in that sense is one who takes us to our true home sat lok sat khand that which is the creative power of everything all things have come from there including the souls so that is a different uh, different area but it all depend what we are seeking if satguru appears in our life if we are seeking our true home and the ultimate truth if we seeking anything less then other gurus come in our life and they teach us that or it may happen that we have not fully understood what we are seeking there are so many people feel that we are seeking something we don't really know what it is because what we are seeking doesn't fit in with our rational mind but we are still seeking in that case several gurus can come in our life to take us step by step to different places and as we go to those places we feel very happy that we have reached that point but then something tells us i want more i think there's something beyond this i am not fully satisfied the guru says i have done my job another guru will appear in your life another guru appears so these things happen so when we talk of different gurus we all have the capacity to be the same as a perfect living master same as any such guru we all have the same capacity our creative power has granted everything to all of us it can be accessed by anybody anywhere in the world and can be done by his child adult old man man woman or even in between or whatever anybody can have that access and it's all inside same not that a master comes to put something in our head and say find it it's already there great master used to say there are people who are they have some instrument to see where there's a well water underground you dig and the well comes out so they have a capacity to find out where a well is and we use them in india to find out is this land barren can you tell us which is a good place to dig they didn't have all the instruments which can now be used by science but they used to have these people and they were divine people who would go and say dig here you'll get a well when they dig the water is there 
it does not mean that they have placed a well there for you to dig. Well is there. They know where it is. Masters are like that. They tell us where it is. They accompany us to show you where it is. They dig the well for us. But the well is already there. They don't place it there. Now that is why the Satgurus that we want to meet seek for the truth. Satguru will appear in your life. They say when a chela is ready, guru appears. They don't say when chela is ready, he can find a guru. When a chela is ready, when a disciple is ready, a master appears. How does he appear? By coincidence, by circumstances. Now, why is coincidence important? Because coincidence is something happening differently than the law of probability indicates. This world is running on mathematical laws. One of the mathematical laws which has been confirmed over and over again is the law of probability. Probably this will happen. A coincidence is against the law of probability. It was not supposed to happen, it happened. How come I opened the page of a book at random, it was something else about another subject, first line answered by question I had asked yesterday to my own self. How come I'm thinking of a subject, driving my car, and there's an advertisement, an ad on a hoarding somewhere for some other object, but one line fits in exactly with my question. It's very unlikely, improbable, that when that happens, we call it a great coincidence. So coincidences take place when we find a perfect living master, a Satguru in our life. And coincidences increase as we go into meditation. That's another thing. That when you start meditating inside, you'll see more and more coincidences happening. Ultimately, you'll find that the whole programming is set up for creation on that basis. But that requires you to go several layers higher to find that out. So, it is when you say, then the questioner asks, is, do we see Satguru in everybody? Potentially there in everybody, but the Satguru that would take you to your true home appears as a human being, singular one person comes into your life.